shotgun. This is how you make a custom cardboard shotgun. You will need five toilet paper rolls um, and two and a half paper towel rolls if you don't want to add any modifications, really. I think it's pretty good. Or you'll actually need six toilet paper rolls if you want to include this ammo feature. Okay, so first you want to make the base of the gun. To do this, you want to take two paper towels and push them into each other. Then, you'll want to cut a square shaped hole on the bottom at the back and place a toilet paper roll on it. You'll want to tape that on securely so it isn't wobbling around. Like you see, mine is pretty good. Then you'll want to do the same thing but with the top of that toilet paper roll you just placed in. Or the bottom. The top of the bottom. Perfect. You want to place the toilet paper roll in there and again, securely tape it in place. That'll create the stock and the main area of the gun. Then, a little bit of above that, about one and a half inches, um, you'll want to add a the actual grip where you hold and have the trigger. You just have to cut a square shaped hole very easily. Make sure it's big enough where it can fit, but small enough so it doesn't fall out. You want to tape that up, and that's basically it for the body, except for the front, where you'll just want to cut a paper towel roll in half and just add it onto the front. It's pretty easy. Then you want to add uh, this. This is the like the loading mechanism of the shotgun. You go back and forth, and it locks. Um, so what you want to do is you want to cut a toilet paper roll in half and then you want to take the top of that toilet paper roll um, where the two sides are cut and you want to cut a small rectangular shape out of each side. Then you want to use those cut out pieces and tape them around this while it's on the gun. You want to do that on both sides so it's tight. Tight enough where it doesn't fall off. but but loose enough where it can slide. Then, you want to add this feature. This is where you store your ammo, or load your ammunition, and that's just by, done by cutting a toilet paper roll, making sure it's, um, making sure it can bend like this, and just placing it on there, taping it on, and that's it. It's pretty easy. You can then put your ammo, ammunition inside. Do it that way. And then, that's it for the base shotgun. Now, if you do want to add modifications, which can make it look really, really good, this is how you do it. To add this, it's just that other half of the paper towel roll cut in half and or cut, yeah, cut in half, and then cut down the middle, and then cut in half. You put that on top of here, and then you use those some of the pieces from the other paper towel roll, and you cut those and put them on there. This basically looks like a thing where you can add attachments and stuff like that, and it looks pretty good. Now you want to add the scope. If you do, you just cut a toilet paper roll, like one inch or 2.5 centimeters, and then you want to cut it again on the top and squish it until it's a smaller size. As you can see, it's smaller than a regular toilet paper roll. You can then tape that in place on the size you want. And then you can grab a little piece of that toilet paper roll and just cut the remaining piece of the toilet paper roll a little thin strip and you want to tape you want to bend it so part of it goes onto the top and some on the bottom. That makes sure it's super secure. You want to tape those on, and that's just the sight. It looks good. Now, if you want to make it strong, you can add more toilet paper rolls, but it is optional and it doesn't need it doesn't need that to be a good gun. Anyway, this is how you made a shotgun, and I hope you enjoyed and found this very helpful. Goodbye.